video when I'm talking. I like doing these talking videos so I can talk and say things. Uh, actually, I don't like to say that. I don't actually don't like these talking videos. I don't like to talk. Just, I don't know. It's like, I don't, see, I don't really think these things beforehand. I just turn on the camera and then I start saying stuff. And I'm thinking, I don't even know what I'm going to talk about until I say it. So maybe I like to kind of, but then I think it's better when I just kind of think, you know, write down things that I want to talk about. And I can maybe articulate it better because, you know, it's not off the cuff. So I can kind of think more of what I want to say, you know, of how I really feel. Sometimes I just say things. And it's, not really coming out the right way, <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, what's going on in the world now, I don't know, global warming, it's warm, and it's really humid, it's like, it's, I swear, like, as a kid, it was never this humid every day for so long, <laughs> uh, does the carbon add humidity to the air, it must, messing with the people like, nah. and I yet people still keep driving, nah. oh, right, my, my car, it's like, you know, it's like, I wonder if people actually they drive a lot. You know, I ride my bike a lot, so I kind of have to drive. But I wonder if people, every time they drive, just think about, man, I'm going to add more carbon to the air. More more carbon, going to create more crazy weather, hurricanes, fires, just going to lead to it. It's like, you know, well, it doesn't it directly. But it's, you can safely say it's kind of, it's one of the things that probably add up to cause it, you know. So it's like, well, there's a bunch of fires and well, there's some arsonists, but doing it, but you know, hurricanes, <laughs> arsonists don't cause hurricanes, or you know, melting of the polar caps or the extra heat or the tundra and warming and the polar cap melting and the bad air quality and people with problems with breathing. You know? It's like we don't breathe carbon, we breathe oxygen. Yeah, we just keep and that car up in the window. Okay, we just keep driving. You can, you can hear people driving right now. They don't care. You see anybody walking on the sidewalk? No. There's people know. They can. It's true. See, yeah, you know I'm saying so. No, they don't. I think people like to think that they care. They all care. That's why they care about certain things. <laughs> certain things that everybody else cares about because they want to make themselves feel like they're good people. It's like, oh, I care about, if I care about something, then I. I'm a good person. I don't have to care about everything. <laughs> but if I show I do something, it's like the serial killer kind of mentality. You know, you know, serial killers will kind of, uh, you know, do something nice just to show that they're not, you're all evil. If I do some good things, then I make things that I'm not evil. You know? Or something like that. Spare someone's life or something. I don't know. But, you, but you know, it's, it's the same kind of thing. It's like I think people give away money to charity. It's like, well, look at those people giving the cheer. Yeah, it's because they've done some other crazy bad thing and they're trying to make themselves feel better about themselves. Or maybe they're just really, really rich and just kind of feel bad about being really, really rich <laughs> and getting lucky like that. It's not like they like do, you know, some kind of MVP, the most valuable player, and you get paid because you're just handsome and everybody loves you. <laughs> yeah. People who want to be rich are rich because they want to be rich. It's not like... I'm gonna take some money. I'm like, yeah, let's just give this guy money because you know. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll take it. Oh, yeah, give me more money. <laughs> no, you want the money. You try hard to get it. That's why you're rich. And you don't give a lot of that away. That's why you're rich. But you'll give some away to make people like you and go, ooh, he's a nice guy. Maybe I should buy his products because he's a nice guy. And then you get more rich from that. It's like when Taylor Swift, you know, pays her truck drivers <laughs> a bonus. It's like, she makes like five million dollars per concert, and she gives them a bonus of a hundred thousand each. I mean, that's what? How many truck drivers are there? Ten, maybe. I don't know. I mean, and it's like only a million. It's like a bonus of a million dollars. <laughs> and she makes like five million a concert. <laughs> it's like one fifth of what she makes in a night. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, she's so generous. She's so kind and generous. <laughs> yeah. Now, now people gonna go up. Oh, she's so generous. I think I'll buy some more of her. I think I'll buy her albums. I'll buy her. Yeah, and then she becomes more, more, more wealthy. It's like, you know, you give money, you know, you give money away. And then people will like you more. And then they'll, so you're actually making money. She, she knows. She knows how to make money. People are like, oh. of course she does. She's like an expert in making money. She does everything she does. It's to make money. 
I mean, the generosity toward the fans. It's to keep them happy so they'll buy your albums and buy every version of it. <laughs> the one with this cover and the one with that cover, the one with the song order and this order and this order, and they'll buy every version of it. It's like, why did she sell so many albums? Because each fan of hers, the Swifties, buy four versions, four different versions of the album. So it's like, you think it's four pe different people buying four four of her albums? I don't know, that's the same guy buying four albums. Girl. She's a girl. She has girl fans. I'm not trying to be like me. Attacking people about this is things that I'm thinking. Maybe that occurred to me. But it's it just occurred. It's like, that makes sense. It's nothing like, I'm disgruntled. No, it's noticing. You notice things. If you're going to be public, in the public eye, you're going to people are going to say things. Now, you, you know that. If you're going to become famous, people are going to say things and have opinions. That's just how it is. That's why I don't want to become famous. I just want to become rich. It's like, I want, yeah, I like people to hear my music, so I want that, and I want to be rich. But I don't want this whole fame and people following me and no, no, I I don't know why people want that. Why does anybody want that kind of, everywhere you go, people know your name. Why would you want that? They go, and they think you know that they know you, and when you do something bad, they go, oh, that famous guy, and they, and they, they know you. It's like, let me just want to have a little bit of, yeah. I think that's the downside to, to celebrity, is the fame part of it. The money is the buy is probably the best part of it. <laughs> and also, getting, you know, if you're like an artist, getting your product out there, you know, that's nice for people to you hear your stuff. But then you're making all that money because you're a product now. You're just making products to sell. <laughs> so the art becomes a product. I actually wrote a song about that. I call it Your Art is Now a Product, but I just call it Your Art or Art. Art. So people don't like, go, well, Your Art is Now a Product. That's a weird title. I don't want to listen to that song. That's just, that's just too uh, too familiar. <laughs> that's just like, like talking about my life. <laughs> what is what? That is that is good. It just talks about my old my old thing that I do, <laughs> making that making saying it's art, but it's really a product. That's yeah. yeah, I was trying to write those kind of songs, and you know, it's the songs I've written and I write I tend to be songs. I I don't know why I write these kind of songs. I think because I grew up with shows like The Twilight Zone and The X Files and. Those kind of shows shows like things some complacency can always turn against you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm thinking, you know, people. So it's like I'm making songs about things that you think are just normal and it's and it's all right, but they're not really, <laughs> and they're kind of weird. And what and you, and the reason and you're doing it, but it's weird that you do it. <laughs> That's the kind of song I write about. It's like. But I try to, I don't know, I do this whole aspects of human thing where I write songs about different emotions. I've written songs about selfishness, jealousy, envy, you know, all these different ways of being a human. And it's like, they're all kind of negative, I guess. And then, except for one song I wrote called Kindness, that was kind of like a good way of being, you know, you know, a human to show kindness. I saw a song called Greed. People always think of greed as like, you know, eating too much, being a glutton. But no, nah, it's about greed about anything. You know, being a greed, greed for money, greed, greed for power, greed for love, greed for so many things. It's all about that. It's like you want your greed, greed, need. Your greed, greed, greed is your need, need, need. Your greed, 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 you must feed. It doesn't mean you feed on food. You feed on just something or whatever. Greed, greed, greed is your need, need, need. Greed, 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 you must greed. <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah, so I wrote songs like that and stuff like that. This is another video that's 10 minutes long. She's like, I'm gonna stop this video and start another bunch of talking because I like watching myself. I record these things so I can like watch them myself. You want to think, slow down, no, it's for me. I like to enjoy myself. And others, and the few others that do enjoy me, good, you are you are a good and probably a thoughtful and creative person. And you seek me out because you too are creative. 
because that's how we are. We create. We tend to seek out others like ourselves. Not everybody is creative. You know, we're creative. We're kind of. It's probably I don't know. Ten like percent of people probably are very creative. There's a varying degree of creativity. You know, everybody got you know a little bit of creative. I guess, but most people just copy each other. I mean, it's like, no, that's the way we should be. No, but it's the way some people need to to survive. That's the only way they can survive. You know, they don't really have any other way of being. So, is that a dig at someone? No, that's just the way it is. Da da dum, da da dum, da da dum. That's just the way it is. Da da dum, da da dum. Some things will never change. Da -da -dum, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. That's just the way. I actually saw Bruce Bruce Owens be in concert in '94. I saw him in '94 was a good year. Yeah, I was there. It was a very good year. Yeah, I was in his band. My friend Brendan was writing a song, doing stuff, and it was, I was still in school, but. Um, I saw a whole lot of good bands in '94. I saw let's see, I saw Yes in concert in '94. I saw Peter Frampton in concert in '94. I saw um, Bruce Hornsby in '94. Bonnie Raitt. Did I say Peter Frampton? I saw Peter Frampton in '94. I saw some more bands too, but uh, yeah, that's you know you think I get tired. <laughs> it's okay to see so many concerts. Not that I enjoy concerts, I enjoy the music. Actually, when I'm in a, in a, at a concert, I actually enjoy it. And it's like, yeah, oh my God, I think I'm really into the music and I sing along with every song. But I don't know, so I just ignore the crowd. But I don't actually like to be around a million people or whatever. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I don't know, you know, a lot of people. This is just, I don't know, you 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 know